Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing something different. We will not be doing a monthly forecast anymore. Instead, we will do pick your card for your monthly reading. So here we have three piles of cards. You can choose which pile and then I will reveal the reading. So before I begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you get notified every time I upload. So this will be the pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. You can pick the pile that caught your attention the first time you see it, or if you're still confused, you may want to Close your eyes for a moment, think of any question you would like to ask or you may want to manifest the thoughts for next month because this will be the reading for March 2020. If you choose the pile number one, you can just continue but if you choose pile number two or three, you may want to skip to your reading. I will put the timestamp in the comment section below so you can just go directly to your reading. Okay, let's just start with the first pile. Okay, so from the first deck, we have the King of Wands, the Devil, Eight of Wands, and the Moon. And then from the second deck, we have the Journey, Four of Stones, the Woodward, Two of Bows, Five of Bows and King of Arrows. And we have one oracle card here that we'll get to it after we're done with the whole reading. Okay, so here's the reading for those who chose pile number one. I feel like there will be a sudden change in March for you because I feel like the universe pushed you to a new direction and it's gonna be fast it's not like something you would plan on to do but it's like there's something that's been holding you back because here we have the devil which represents something or someone is holding you back there might be someone here which represents by the king of wounds who is holding you from getting something or achieving something but this could also mean the energy from yourself something like a guilty pleasure that you know is not good for you but you just can't stop doing it and so these things represents how you've been doing something that is not good for yourself but you can't resist it so the universe will push you to change and there's the death card here which represents how there'll be a transformation in your life so i feel that march will be the month where whether you like it or not there'll be a change for you and the four of stones here represents how you don't want to face it you want to just play in the safe side you want to stay in the safe zone but it's getting you nowhere so whether you like it or not you will have to face the change then you have the woodward card here which is also like the justice card that means that there's something that you need to balance out in your life and along with the two of bows here I feel that there's a decision to make regarding about you know the whole situation here it could cause an inner conflict here because there is five of bows but i feel that because there's the king of arrows here on the last card you will go through all of this and finally get the clarity that you've been seeking or get a new perspective in life because um, the moon card here represents some sort of deception so I feel that you have to be wise enough to know that what looks good may not be 
the right thing for you and what looks bad may be something that you need um, because it may seem bad right now for you but you will see in time that that is what you need and now your oracle card says that when i think i've surrendered i surrender more so see how this whole thing is about you surrendering yourself to the universe because whether you like it or not it will push you back in line because you may be straight out of line and this is your chance to get back and continue on the right path of your life so March will be kind of emotional month because there's a lot of wants here but by the end of the month I feel like you will get the hang of it you will be more calm and you will see all the things that you have to go through is for your best okay so that's all for pile number one we're gonna continue with pile number two now okay so this is for pile number two's reading from the first deck you have the temperance the world the hermit and seven of pentacles so many major arcanas here from the first deck and then the second one you have the six of vessels seven of stones ace of bows ten of stones eight of arrows and queen of vessels and we'll get to your oracle card after we've done with the whole reading okay so for those who choose pile number two I feel that in March your focus is on your achievement whether it's your study your work or your home but it seems to me that you've been working on something because there's seven of pentacles here there's another seven of stones here it's the same um, energy so these both are telling me that You've been working on something and that you've been waiting for the result of it and this will be a good month for you that you will achieve a lot of things um, that you've been focusing on because there's the world cut here and there's ace of wands here which means that you will have something new coming for you you will start something new or this could also means that you will achieve um, your goals so this is a very very positive card for you to have now with the temperance here I feel that you've been juggling something I feel like you are trying so hard to balance things out or like you know making sacrifices for in order for you to achieve something that you've been wanting to and the world here is a very good card for you because this means that a lot of opportunity will represent themselves to you this month and that you are very blessed with everything around you but there's a hermit card here so i feel that you really need to tune in to yourself to be able to focus on the right thing here because there'll be lots of temptation or influences from the people around you or the situation maybe get getting a little bit harder than you think but i feel that you just need to you know take a step back be with yourself and don't lose focus i get a feeling that you may also feel with this hermit there might be a feeling of like nobody's getting you you try to share it with the world but they don't get your idea and you feel like you're an outsider and that people are just pushing you aside but don't let them influence you especially emotionally because there's the six of vessels here which could means that your inner peace might be compromised 
Don't let it get into your head and just focus on the positivity in your life because with the Ten of Stones here, you have a lot to be grateful of and a lot more positivity to focus on rather than the negativity that people throw you or the situation try to shake your ground. And then with all the struggle that you may be facing, you may be forced to reevaluate the whole thing, which to let go of and which to hold on. Now with the Queen of Vessel as your last card here, I feel that this is a very good card to end the month because then you will learn a lot of things during this month and this will make you become a wiser person and that you will have more experience to share it with other people. Now for your oracle card, it says my other experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. So remember that your internal condition is the most important thing. So if you want your other experiences good, you have to really be careful with your internal condition. Like I said, don't let those people or situation that tries to give you the negativity round. Just focus on yourself, focus on the positivity that you have and then you will attract more of positivity into you because you have the key to experience the best of your life okay that is all for the second pile we'll move on to the third one Okay, so this is the reading for those who choose the third pile. From the first deck here, we have Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Three of Wands, Queen of Cups. And then from the second deck here, we have the Five of Stones, Ten of Vessels, Seven of Vessels, King of Vessels, The Guardian, and The Green Man. And we get to your oracle card once we've done with the whole reading here. Okay, so here we can see that there are two cards that is the same energy, which is the five of pentacles, here five of stones, which means that there's an endurance that you have to face during March. But it won't be long because there's an ace of wands which represents a new beginning it could mean a literal new things for you or it could also mean that there is a new way of seeing things or doing things that will change the way you feel and then i feel that you will be planning on doing something after the new beginning you will start to plan something even further and there's a queen of cups here which could mean that there's someone um, who will help you get through the hardship that you've been dealing with and this could be like a mother figure to you so she will be there to help you and will be there to support you emotionally okay you have the ten of vessels here and seven of vessels this month may start a bit rough for you but it will get better because the ten of vessels here reminds you that the best is yet to come and that you don't have to worry you will be better your situation is not a permanent one and you will be blessed with more things and with the seven of cups here or seven of vessels here i feel that you may be getting a little bit like daydreaming or inside your head don't let your 
thoughts, especially the bad one, sabotage, you know, the whole feeling of yours. I feel like you have to maintain the inner voice of yours. Don't let your inner voice telling you that you're not good enough, telling you that you're not worthy. You have to remember that you're worth more, you deserve more, and don't let anything else say otherwise. And in the bottom here, we have the two males energy, a very strong energies, king of vessels and the green man which is the emperor energy but in between this we have the guardian or the devil card so i feel that you should be careful this is the advice from this card for you to be careful especially with the rules there may be some type of rules that you have to follow and make sure that you don't go against it so that you can keep the trouble away from yourself because this i feel that this may be have the connection with the authorities in your life so you should be really careful and don't try to break the rules or you know those kind of things and the king of vessels here could mean about a male figure in your life could be your father, teachers, or boss. They may be giving you a hard time or just, you know, being more strict than before. But try not to go against them because I feel that they're just trying to get the best out of you. And then we have your oracle cards here that says, when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Yeah, so this is about the whole endurance thing. You may have to face the hardship in your life, but remember that it won't last forever, that it will pass, and that you will find something better along the way. And also be careful with not breaking the rules during this month. So whatever it is that you have to go through next month, remember that you have to give your faith to the universe to find your peace. Just trust and it will pass soon. That is all the reading for March 2020. I would like to hear your thoughts about this, so please share it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next reading.